In this problem, they tell us a semicircle is cut into 19 wedges like slices of a half pizza. The first nine wedges are complementary. What is the angle measure of each of the remaining wedges? So you can imagine here, um, if we have a circle or like um, a pizza, they say, and we cut it in half, we would get a semicircle, which is what we have in this problem. So here, we're going to cut this circle in half. So it's already cut in half our circle, and we're dealing with the semicircle right here, right? So any half of a circle is what? That's a semicircle. That's something I would write down, right? That this is a semicircle. And we know that the semicircle is cut into 19 pieces. I'm not going to draw those pieces here. It would be kind of tedious, but I'm going to write it down so that I can keep track of what's happening. And they say it's like slices of a pizza, so you can imagine perhaps that each wedge, right, looks like a pizza slice right here. And so you can tell that what we're going to be looking at, if we're asking about the angles here, is this wedge piece right here. It's not specified in the problem, but I think it's implied. And, you know, the problem like this, if you need clarification, you can always ask about it. Um, but here it tells us the first nine wedges are complementary. And what that tells me is that the first nine wedges are 90 degrees. And anywhere I place those pieces, right, if I kind of reshuffle them, because they're complementary, what's going to happen? Well, if I have nine pieces that are complementary, and now I'll work on the, the bottom half of the circle to sketch this out, right? I can rearrange those nine pieces wherever they're originally cut to take up 90 degrees of the semicircle, right? So here, you can imagine that basically half of the semicircle is taken up by these nine pieces, right? So this area right here is taken up by nine different slices. And there are how many slices in total? Well, there are 19. So that, mean there are t that means there are 10 slices remaining in the other half of the semicircle. And because 90 degrees of this is taken up already, there's only 90 degrees left, right? So these 10 slices, if they're all cut evenly, right, that means that they share the 90 degrees evenly. So we can think of this section of the pizza as being 90 degrees, right, divided by the 10 slices, and that's 9 degrees each. So each of these slices are 9 degrees, if they're cut evenly, or these wedges are cut evenly. And here on the right-hand side, these 9 slices here, because it takes another 90 degrees, you can think of it them each as being 90 degrees divided by 9, or 10 degrees each. And that's assuming that they're cut up evenly um, in this problem. If they're not cut evenly, we cannot tell how big each piece is, right? If you take any um, circle, right, or semicircle or whatever you're looking at, and if you, you're, you, if you cut the circle in half, you get a semicircle, but the wedges here, right, they need to be a uniform size. Even if I only cut it in three pieces, right, if you don't know where that third piece is, or let's say that fourth piece, or how big it is, all the slices could then be different sizes and different angles, and you couldn't divide or split up to figure out how big each of them are. The only way to break a problem like this down is to assume that each wedge, right, has the same angle cut. Thanks.